does two boxes with mass M1, which is 0 0.08 kilograms, uh, and M2, 0.3 kilograms, uh, are connected by a string. The string goes over a pulley so that each box hangs from each side of the pulley, nor the mass of the pulley and the string, and assuming no friction between the string and the pulley. So this is the picture for this problem. And uh, the first part of the problem says that we need to draw the free body diagram for each mass. So uh, both masses are going to experience a downward force of gravity. And both masses are also going to experience a force pulling up on the string of tension. So the second part of the problem says to find the magnitude and the direction of the acceleration for each box. So to do that, what we need to do is we need to treat this whole thing as a system, knowing that mass one is heavier and it's going to pull this down. We have to set the problem so that it is equal to both of them. So we have um, the mass of object one and we times that by the acceleration due to gravity which is 9.8 meters per second squared and then this is for the m1 and we subtract it from m2 because that's uh, affecting how fast m1 accelerates downward because there's a weight added on to it um, or opposing it so then we subtract it from the mass of the smaller mass and then times the acceleration due to gravity and then divide that whole thing by the combined mass so we get 1.1 kilograms now when you solve this through you get that the acceleration magnitude is equal to negative 4.45 meters per second squared. Now we have this is the magnitude and with this uh, number that we have now we can find the force of tension on the equation um, which is part C of the problem. So to find that we take this acceleration And we set that equal to the tension, which we're solving for. And we subtract that from the weight and the acceleration due to gravity of the heavy object, which gives us the force. So we have 0.8 kilograms. And then times 9.8 meters per second squared. And sub uh, not subtracted, divided by 0 0.8 kilograms. So what we did here is the tension minus the force caused by the mass of object 1 divided by the mass of object 1. Now what this gives us is T is equal to 4.28 newtons. So that's how you solve this problem. That's how you find the magnitude and direction of the acceleration and the tension force.